focusing on Mariposa data, I mean, Vantamap, Lizardnip, could you please touch base on the study design and also mechanism of action? Sure. So, you know, as uh, Susie explained, you know, the Mariposa trial is an international randomized phase three study in the frontline setting for patients with metastatic EGFR exon 19 deletion or L858R. Those are the common or activating EGFR mutations. And patients were randomized to three different arms. So amivantamab and lizertinib. And remember, amivantamab is an EGFR and MET bispecific antibody. It has a very interesting mechanism of action. It works both intracellularly, but also extracellularly. It blocks ligand inhibition, so it prevents signaling. It also leads to receptor degradation. And then it has a very exciting sort of immune activity uh, where it leads to potential through trogocytosis, something called cellular gnawing, can lead to immune uh, sort of activity. And in the treatment arm of amivantamab, we also combined it with lizertinib, a third generation EGFR TKI, very similar to I would think of osimertinib, another third generation EGFR TKI. The control arm clearly is osimertinib alone. And there was a, 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 a last arm, which is uh, lizertinib, which is for contribution of components in this setting. And what we saw was positive study for both PFS and overall survival. Helena, when it comes to EGFR mutated disease, one thing that we have to keep in mind ends up being CNS disease. These patients have higher incidence of intracranial active involvement. When it comes to Mariposa, can you touch a little more on the study design and walk us through the findings when it comes to monitoring for brain MRI? Was it any different than what has been done historically? Yeah, I think it's a great point. I think, you know, this population, more than 50% will ultimately develop brain metastases. And so when we're choosing between options, I think CNS efficacy comes to the forefront uh, in terms of, you know, how, how we make our decisions and, and change treatments based on uh, different patients. Um, what I really liked about the Mariposa study is that they did require uh, CNS imaging for all patients. So historically, and still done most of the time, um, we only get CNS imaging if somebody has a known brain metastases, and we're following that over time. Um, but I think in a population where the incidence is so high, we also want to know about asymptomatic CNS progression, which we really won't know um, without checking, right? Um, and so I do think that affects some of the endpoints like progression-free survival, but it gives us a much more accurate um, understanding of, of, you know, the penetration to the brain and, and, you know, how our patients will respond to therapy. 